Dred Barry. I'm a mural artist here in New Jersey. This is my mural. I imagine this is deep within the New Jersey Pine Barrens, home of the New Jersey Devil, which you see on the cemented logo. Yeah, you can see the New Jersey Devil pictured here, and I basically just started coming up with all things cemented. Yeah, ghosts, ghouls, goblins, demons, creepies, crawlies, things that go bump in the night, that kind of thing. <laughs> And uh, it depicts uh, what I imagine is a demonic brewing process to be and uh, in the underworld and above ground. It all kind of connects together. Kind of just like the brewing process. You got your grains, hops and stuff and heating the beer from below the flames of hell coming up to the cauldron to get everything ready for barreling over here. There's some bags of body parts, it's kind of like the secret ingredients. And then they load it up into the demented cart. <laughs> this is my favorite part, I gotta say. The two demons hanging out here in hell, sharing a growler, looking at the insect woman, and the guy's like, check out the thorax on her. That, that's, uh, that's my favorite part. It's, uh, some mythological creatures pictured throughout. Um, there's like Cerberus. The three-headed dog pictured below. And I pull things from all kinds of life, like this one pictured here started out like drawing a portrait of my bulldog. <laughs> you, you can kind of see the similarities in the demon. You know, I put myself in there, hung over with a growler, a demented growler in his hand. Originally, we were going to do a mural that depicted like parts of, uh, you know, stories around New Jersey, like you would find in Weird New Jersey. Um, but, you know, they were doing the sketches, and a lot of them were just kind of like places, and it would have made for a really boring mural. And then I had an idea for this sketch to show the brewing process, and uh, basically it was just a rough pencil sketch, and Tom, the owner, okayed it, and uh, it was actually his idea to do the underworld. This one took uh, approximately like 250 hours, which sounds like a lot, but I've done projects that were more. I've done a project that was 3,000 hours, so 250 compared to that was uh, walking the park. I basically just sketched it out with a chalk pencil uh, and pretty much wrap, uh, matched my rough sketch. and. Uh, then I just went around and started adding color and rendering everything and, you know, bringing out the characters. I'm kind of guilty of having a couple and eavesdropping. Oh, what? You like my mural? Let me tell you all about it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's the, uh, I, I like talking about it. I don't know. So yeah. if somebody sees you here, you're totally fine with them approaching you? And yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know. I have a lot of friends who work here and everything, and but yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, if you don't mind someone just you know blabbering on in your ear for a while, then definitely come up to me and ask me about it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, I'm looking at this now, and some I'm, sometimes I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> but uh, yeah, and that's uh, that's the mural. Born and raised here in Middlesex. It's very cool to be able to, you know, make a living doing this. It's, you know, it's great when I can uh, do local businesses and stuff like that. I mean, the more people to see it, you know, the better it is for me. And, you know, I guess that's, uh, you know, that helps me feel more connected with the world, being letting them be able to see my art and uh, enjoy my art. You can contact me uh, through my personal Facebook page, uh, Drake Barry or my business page and believe it or not a lot of my work is uh, word of mouth it's very cool to you know be a part of the demented uh, brewery and uh, I'd like to thank Tom Zuber for the opportunity and congratulate him and uh, how cool it is to be a part of the success of the demented brewery special thanks to Tom Zuber 
and the demented crew.